So the new Power Ranger movie, you are, we are within at least a month and some days until the new Power Ranger movie has, is going to come out. I actually haven't talked about it yet. I haven't actually looked at the trailers and talked about the trailers. I did watch them. It's just that I didn't actually do what I did for a few movies that I actually did it for. Now this one. I hear a lot of people saying it sucks and a lot of people saying it's interesting. I can't wait. Too bad for JT Mitchell. He's like, yeah, he's going to go down. It's going to go down in flames. Me personally, I'm like, this seems pretty interesting. I, I'm not going to be a jerk and be like, oh, but the Blue Ranger is supposed to be white and the Black Ranger is supposed to be black. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that at all. I'm just going to smile and say, the Mighty Morphin Power Ranger Yellow Ranger is the same ethnicity that it she was in the original pilot episode before they switched for tween. Yes, for those who don't know, the original Mighty Morphin Yellow Ranger actually was going to be a Latino. Yeah, Latina. And, well, by some reasons, we don't actually know why she got replaced. And then number two is like, how come at least one Morphicon, one Morphicon allow her to show up? One Morphicon. Yes, yeah, she can't ask questions, but it would be very nice. At least she has one booth to herself. At least. I mean, come on. That is messed the frick up. I know she can't do anything or ask questions and stuff, but at least it would be kind of cool for her to be there at least one time, you know, one time. Heck, have a picture with all five of the Rangers. Of course, that would be hard, but yeah, it would be very cool if you could do it. Back to the movie. The movie, personally, to me, I think is going to be something truly interesting. But sadly, with me being how it is, uh, I have to pick and choose which movies I get to watch. Because personally, last year, there's like lots of movies I wish I could have watched. But sadly, I couldn't get to watch. And sadly, this year is the same way. Like, for instance, I would love to watch. What was the name of it? Oh, I forgot the name of the movie. But, you know, the movie with the guy with 23 personalities or at least eight personalities inside one. Yeah, that guy, that movie. Yes, I want to see that movie. And sad part is that I'm going to have that another video talking about that movie with the actual name of I know. But, man. This movie, I really hope I'm able to watch it. I really am. The suits, the suits are pretty okay. I mean, the suits look completely weird and different and plus at first when i saw the reveal from on a magazine i was like don't these look too much like iron man in a way they look kind of too much like iron man no offense but it kind of does now it does look different it looks completely different and i think it's very cool what they do with the chess piece it's very very cool alpha five alpha alpha five looks he looks completely different. I'm fine with it, but when it comes to toys and stuff, I kind of would wish you had like a circular piece, you know, that the top part is circular with a with a saucer like middle. But how about the bottom one also have a circular underneath it? So it actually will look pretty cool instead of what you have in the action figure, which is a long neck under it. And it looks kind of weird, but I would say if you would have balanced it out with having something circular underneath it, I think you would actually have a good winning toy. That's for the Megazord. Finally got to see the Megazord, how it looks like for a bit of a second. And it looks, it's going to look interesting. How this goes, it's going to look pretty interesting. Pretty interesting. Indeed. <laughs> Um, let's see. Oh, yes. Godar. Godar might be the freaking monster of the day. I already talked about this. It's sad, but I kind of would hope that if the, she does start having lieutenants and stuff, that she's not alone. It would be very cool to allow Scorpina to finally have a day in the sun without the whole, oh, she disappeared. It's like, wait a minute. What? Where the frick did Scorpina go? Oh, we don't know. She's gone. 
what the fuck, man? Scorpina was very, very powerful and brought the Power Rangers to their freaking damn knees. And you're trying to tell me that Scorpina just disappeared? You have no reason or explanation where she went? Come on, freaking idiots. Come on. Come the frig on. Let's see. What about the putties? The putties look completely interesting. I mean, wow, they look... They most likely could beat the crap out of their TV versions. I could tell you the truth on that. And the interesting part would be when it comes to Lord Zed's evil putties. So does that mean that he's going to have like some kind of metal thingy on, on them or something? Or are they going to be metallic? I mean, that's going to be the cool part. That's going to be the cool part of thinking about. Now we go to Rita Repulsa. Rita Repulsa is going to be interesting on this. Oh, yeah, and there's more stuff to talk about, but yeah. Rita Repulsa will be interesting on this. She has two costume changes, apparently, and uh, weirdly enough, she goes to one of the Power Rangers. I wonder if that's going to just be a dream, because if that's actually real, that's going to be weird as frick. There is some good funniness in the movie, though, when it comes to, like, the Yellow Ranger, and apparently, no, no, Zordon doesn't talk about the whole thing of... You keep your identity a secret. Don't tell anyone. Well, the Yellow Ranger just told her family. She just told her two brothers and her. And that's interesting. Yeah, now they have some have siblings. But still, yeah, she told her freaking damn brothers and mom. So, well, there goes the whole keep your identity a secret crap. (laughs) Oh, damn, that sucks. He's like, oh, well, that sucks. That's part of the real part of it, man. What the heck? Let's see. Um, what about them having abilities? I don't think I talked about this, but I commented many times. When it comes to them having abilities, that was weird. I'm like, oh, so you guys took it from Dino Thunder, eh? <laughs> it's like, oh, so you took the idea from Dino Thunder. But they don't have their actual, you know, everyone has like their own individuality, which would be pretty cool. Where they're like, okay, we know what the pterodactyl does. She got a terror scream. We know what the triceratops does. He'll be able to have tough skin and defend himself. And then you have the red ranger who's able to run very fast. Then he's like, what we're going to give the silver two tiger, what we're going to give the freaking Mastodon. What are the two things that we can give them? So it actually would be pretty cool and seems legit. That would be kind of cool. And I guess for the freaking saber two tiger, you can actually make it so that her hits are truly two times the power as they could be. You know, the whole that Tiger 2 Tigers have claws, so why not? And I think Mastodon should be able to have, yeah, he's able to lift lots of objects because, well, that will work. I don't know. They didn't go that route. But the movie itself, I'm actually looking forward to it. I will just watch and see for myself, not actually giving any decisions beforehand being like oh look at that movie what are you doing so different like power rangers that is not what i want to see oh my gosh it's like no i'm not gonna do that i'm gonna watch and see for themselves but like iron man said to freaking obadiah stayed in iron man one he's like hmm better look into that <laughs> same idea so you made freaking megazords you made the big megazord and you have Two other Megazords. Eventually, you're going to have the freaking Dragon Zord. (laughs) And the Dragon Zord will have to go on top of them. I guess the interesting part would be... Excuse me. Maybe because, well, the T-Rex actually has the arms and stuff now. So does that mean that when it comes to the Dragon Zord being released in a sequel or two... Does that mean that the Dragon Zord will have the arms and everything? He just needs two legs. So that means that he needs to freaking Mastodon and Triceratops. Or it could be the fact of not only he needs Mastodon, Triceratops, and sorry, Triceratops, he actually needs Sabretooth Tiger as well. So that means that he'll just be another version of the Red Ranger, Pink Ranger mix. 
But that would be pretty cool. That actually will stay true to what happened on the TV show. As for putting it on top of the Zord, I have no fucking damn clue. I think chances are is they're going to take the head because the head, you put it on, put it off. They're going to pop off the head, put something in the Dragon Zord so you can actually house it. And then you have a brand new head to put on top of it. I think that's most likely what's going to happen with the toy line if they continue with it, which chances are they are going to continue. I mean, look at freaking Rita Repulsa. Her freaking staff have something that looks just like their power coins. So I think chances are we're going to have the Green Ranger coming up next. It is weird that for right now, we only just see freaking Rita Repulsa acting alone. That's kind of weird. Yeah, Rita Repulsa is acting alone, so there's no Babu, there's no Finster, there's that other guy. It's like, oh yeah, so, and Godar, which Godar is there, but not the way we think of him. So she's going to act alone, all alone. That seems okay, but do you ever scratch your hand and say, um, but that's not how she rolls, though. That's not exactly how she freaking damn rolls. <laughs> the morphers and stuff, I didn't talk about that. The morphers look kind of interesting. I mean, at least the good news is that they have definitely took the concept of make it otherworldly. Make it something very, 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 very extra. I mean, extra. <laughs> yeah, extraterrestrial-like. So... Yeah, they did that. The power coins look pretty legit. It looks pretty, pretty, pretty cool. We have no Bulkin Skull, which that's interesting. Well, we don't have... I think we do have a freaking skull. We just don't have bulk yet in the trailer. So I think they do exist. It's just that they're not going to upplay the goofiness and crap, which if they did, it would most likely wreck the movie. You gotta admit, it's most likely gonna so wreck the movie if you have them freaking acting like doofuses. <laughs> it's like, yeah, oh my gosh, the monsters, and you have Bulk and Skull running, and you go in front of the camera going, ah, and all that crap, which is like, that's gonna so freaking screw the movie a little bit. That's gonna so be a little bit jarring. You gotta admit, that might be jarring if they did do something like that. So if they downplay them, I'll, that's a good idea. That's legit. Anything else? I think that's basically all about the movie. That's all we have. It's like there's lots of other stuff I can analyze. Like, for instance, who the freak is that vigilante that jumped on the freaking train or something? Which I would love the actual idea of. Yeah, why not? That's none of the Power Rangers. That's freaking damn Tommy. <laughs> Tommy's expired, inspired by the Power Rangers, so he decides to actually take matters in his own hands now, and thus, that's the Green Ranger right there, which, that's awesome. <laughs> that would be awesome. No one will know. No one never even reported that Tommy Oliver has been cast. And that's what you guys get for being doofuses <laughs> trying to spoil us. And you guys don't even know that Tommy Oliver has been cast. But they didn't mention anything about him being cast. So chances are it's one of the Rangers. But I wish it would be cool. Just the fact of they just casted some random person. And they don't even know that that person's actually very, 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 very important. That would be cool. I'll be a big fat smack to everyone who actually wants to be like, I got an exclusive. Yeah, I'll be a big smack. Now, everyone after that, they'll be like, okay, we got to analyze every single person that's coming there. It could be something big, could be something important, but we don't know. We got to make sure we know. <laughs> That'll be funny as frick. Yeah, turn them into paranoid idiots. Very paranoid. But I'll end it here. Power Rangers seem like an interesting movie. They have had their way with it. They went CGI and not actually suits, which, sure, why not? Sad that Godar actually won't be what he used to be. But as long as they actually take Scorpina and turn her into the general, I think that will be much more rewarding. 